There's nothing like it anywhere in the world. A patch of rectangular grass in the middle of the desert. You might as well be in Manhattan when you're looking at the skyline. You know, it just keeps changing every year and it's, it's really neat to see. Welcome to Dubai and the Emirates Golf Club, where the European tour closes off its early season stint in the Middle East. Since 1989, the Majlis course has played host to the Dubai Desert Classic. Designed by Carl Litton, the Majlis was the first grass course in the Middle East, but sticks to its desert roots, with a royal pavilion styled like a Bedouin tent, and much of the desert flora remaining intact, on instruction of His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Every year, the Desert Classic attracts a strong field with players teeing off into the ever-changing Dubai skyline. Past winners include Rory McIlroy, who claimed his first European Tour win here at the age of 19. Tiger Woods, Henrik Stenson, Colin Montgomery and Fred Couples are also winners. Stephen Gallagher was the first to win back-to-back -back in 2013 and 14. Ernie Els is the only man to have claimed the title three times. This golf course where we're standing now is... 30 miles out of anything uh, civilized. This was way back in the desert, there was nothing around here. And you know, you come here 20 years later and you're playing in the middle of Manhattan, basically. There was nothing here the first time I came. It was, uh, it was like an oasis in the middle of the desert, but you've just seen it, uh, to see it evolve over the years has been spectacular. The city's transforming skyline is matched by the evolving reputation of the course. It's become well-loved for its beautiful meandering fairways, indigenous flora and fauna, and for its sparkling lakes. The large and fast greens are a hallmark of one of the more challenging holes, which comes at the end, the 18th of the Majlis, a par five with an approach over one of those lakes, the scene of many dramatic moments in the championship's history. Having to clear water with a driver, isn't the shot you're asking for, believe me. Well, there's some tricky ones in there, but there's some birdie chances, you know, from uh, sort of, uh, if you beat the ball well, then everyone's a birdie chance, but, uh, you know, obviously 18 gives you a chance of an eagle, and uh, um, 13 does as well. Um, and then there's a few birdie chances, 17, some people try and drive, so uh, it's a good risk and reward golf course. Yeah, I think the par fives, you can uh, really make your score in the par fives. There's, um, you can get good tee shots away on them and get in the right position. You know, there's, uh, they're all very reachable, uh, bar one maybe. So, you know, there's a real chance to, to you know, make a lot of birdies, perhaps eagles. It's probably got more variety. There's a couple of par fours you can, can get close to driving, and there's par fives you can reach in two. The other two courses are longer, longer courses. Par fives you can't really reach, and thick rough. So I, I think it's just more, more a wee bit more enjoyable. A desert rose testing Europe's finest once again this week.